As we just saw with, uh, like this weekend on Friday, Russia signed on to an agreement agreeing not to bomb the infrastructure in Ukrainian ports that would be involved in exporting grain and fertilizer and other agricultural products that would alleviate this agricultural food crisis that the war has created, that Russia created by invading Europe's breadbasket. Right. And then less than 24 hours later, they bombed Odessa, which is the biggest port and the biggest port that would be involved in exporting this grain. And then, you know, and then they argued a technicality and said, well, actually, we bombed a military object there and not a grain related object there. But it's like, okay, sure. But how safe are people going to feel, you know, moving grain in and out of a port that where you're going to be given your accuracy? issues if you're bombing this port and and to me it just showed it, it was just such a big fuck you honestly it was such a big fuck you it was like we're russia we can do whatever the fuck we want yeah we signed an agreement but we don't really think it's worth much or the paper it was written on because and and that's what uh sergey lavrov the foreign minister said he's like nothing in the agreement stops us from waging our special operation and basically fuck you and and that's what it means to negotiate with somebody like him. You know, I was I was just at the Aspen Security Forum last week and I was talking to my old friend and former boss and mentor Susan Glasser who has also been a Russia watcher for a long time. Uh she and her husband Peter Baker were based in Moscow for the Washington Post from 2000 to 2005. And Susan made an amazing point. She was like, "Look, I've been racking my brain and I've been thinking back to 1999 when Putin came into office and I've been trying to think of a single time that Putin took an off ramp and de-escalated. And I cannot think of a single time because every single time there was an off ramp, he just floored it past the exit. And I don't know how you negotiate with somebody like that. 